for all you weed smokers out there that can't smoke weed because you work and they drug test you, there's weed that gets you more high than real weed it, at the smoke shops, King Crypto. It just about they're selling them at the smoke shops, and it gets you more stone than regular weed it does. Anyhow, it's illegal. It's made in a laboratory, and it's not good for you. But I mean, it probably isn't good for you. But what is life ain't good for us either. But oh well. Okay, so anyhow, when we got to Master Mason's, when I got to, me and my Master Mason got to his office, we you know for about an hour we sat there and talked and stuff, and I showed him my videos, you know, like the ones with the pictures in them and the songs, you know, and he really liked that, um, <clears throat> and he was real glad to see me. He said he'd miss me. He didn't know why, but <laughs> but he, you know, I totally like interrogated him to find out if he knew anything about anything about any of it and he totally his memory's been completely wiped with any experience that we've had any thing anything that has happened <coughs> and so after that we decided to chant we were going to chant for Pendar and Draken and we decided to let Pandar go first, I mean Drake can go first, and then Pandar go next after that, okay, <coughs> and I brought my crystal with me, um, oh my aquamarine, this I brought with me, and Master Mason held it and looked at it for a while and he was like, oh, he was saying he was seeing angels and it was wings and everything. It was really sweet. <coughs> and then, <coughs> so we started chanting. Yo ho renge ko. Yo ho renge ko. <coughs> and we were to I want to talk to Pendar first and then I mean Draken first and then Pendar after that. Well, it took about ten minutes of chanting and then really super strong entity came through saying that he was Draken, but as soon as he came through, because like when Pendar comes through, he always calls me Avita, you know, and he like, oh, hey, I brought it. they always grab my throat, you know, like when they're doing the shape, you know, when the inhabitation happens and the eyes start rolling back in the head and the convulsing and the forehead comes out and out, it's like, <laughs> it's really dramatic, you know, but um, they always seem to grab my neck though, and my head, like when they're, you know, they're coming through because it takes um, quite a bit of energy to do that. And also, it's um, kind of uncomfortable from what I understand. Um, but this time, this one was squeezing my head and neck really, really hard, like so tight. Like I, I got a little bit nervous and scared. I thought, my, my master made a big man anyway. You know, easily you could do, but you know, I was like going shit. All they would have to do is just, <laughs> you know, and it was like, it got to the point for a minute where I was like, <laughs> you know, I was like, I got a little nervous, but then I thought, no way, no way, I wasn't scared because I don't have time for the pain, being scared and stuff, so, and so whatever come through him, though, was not Draken, and, and it was not Pendar, but he was lying to me, telling me that he was Draken, but he said, Evita, Evita, but he said he was Draken, I'm like, I right away I was suspicious because Draken don't call me Evita, Draken calls me Tree, and so as soon as he got in the body, <laughs> okay, it, it, he secured really strong too, like a real easy strong um, anchor inhabitation. Because a lot of times it's like I have to fight constantly. It's like it's, you know, every every bit of energy to try stop it, Charlie, to try to keep you know um, the anchor going. You know, so the reptilian can stay inside the body. Charlie. 
you know, sometimes it's really hard, but this one was like really strong, really strong, and he got in and whatever he did um, to get that strong, I'm not sure, but he was telling me he was striking though, and so for a minute I was like, I was suspicious because he called me Aviva, and I was like, Okay, Draken, you lied to me, and you guys told me that George Bush was going to come help me, and you told me that you were going to help me and help me put me through the fast, and you guys promised me, and you guys lied to me, and I go, you're a liar, you're a bad dragon, liar, 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 and he tried to say something to me, and I go, liar, 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 don't you dare lie to me, you lied to me, and I, it was funny because the reptilian, the, you know, he's going like this, he's going, his eyes were squinting, you know, and he's like, <laughs> like that. It was funny. Yeah, I'm not making the right face, but basically, yeah, I almost made him cry. He had his eyes squinted real tight, and he's going like, oh, no, 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 no. But I was yelling at him. That's the first time I'd ever yelled at the reptilians before like that. But I was yelling, and it really scared him. <laughs> he didn't like that at all. He's like, ah, his eyes were shut. Squinted. He's like, oh, no, don't, don't yell at me. <clears throat> but anyhow, so I was like, Okay, well, Draken and me had a secret code, okay, like, so that we'd be able to recognize each other, so I would know if it was, you know, him that I was talking to, and it was, he would say red light, or I would say red light, and then he would say yellow light. So the code was red light, yellow light. Like, if I wanted to find out it was him, I would say red light, and he would say yellow light. <coughs> and so I said to this one, I go, Okay, Drake and red light. He goes, green light, yellow light. <laughs> I'm like, you, you're busted, you. You're not Draken. You're not Draken. And he goes, I go, who are you? He goes, Draco, Draco. And then I go, where are you? He goes, because Freighter and Hotep had taught me about the Thurgic realm, and that's where all the master, all the Illuminati's and the dr dragons and the wizards. All the magic they do here is on the Thurgic realm, which is the lower seventh realm, the hell, like right now that we're in the Thurgic realm. Okay, but he goes, he goes, he goes, I'm trapped, he goes, I'm trapped, I'm trapped in the thermal realm, and it's hot here, I goes, it's hot, he goes, yes, it's so hot. I go, can you see me when I'm not here in the room or when I'm not chanting? He goes, no, it's pure blackness, pure darkness, and it's hot, and it hurts, and I, I go, is it hell? And he goes, yes, it's hell. The thermal realm is what he called, and he said, and then I handed him this. The reptilian that, I still don't know who he was, he was saying, after I busted him, saying, figuring out it wasn't Drake, and then he just said, I'm Draco, Draco, whatever, he, maybe he doesn't know his name, I don't know, but whatever though, so we'll just call this one Draco, okay, because I'm not sure if it was one of the entities from one of the, from the talismans, all of the talisman, you know, I'm not sure if it was like, a demon from there or if it was a different reptilian or I'm not sure but he told me when I when he picked this up he's like <gasps> holding it he's like <gasps> when I gave it to him he's going <gasps> he's like so mister he's like so he's like going like this he's going <gasps> <gasps> like that you know it was his growl because they liked growl but this one was really growly this one you know and he was like going he goes, oh my god, I can see everything, and I guess he could see everything that has been, I've been going through, and everything that, with my crystals, and all the energy that I put in it, and all the memory of everything that has happened, you know, since I've had this, and everything, he could see everything, he goes, oh, I can see, he goes, I can see all your joy, he goes, and I can see all your love, he goes, oh, and I can see all your pain, he said, and then he goes, wait, he goes like this, he goes, wait a second, he goes, and he held it for a while, and yeah, he's gone. He's looking at it going, he goes, you can get me out of here. He goes, you can get me out. You can get me out of this hell. He goes, you can get me out through this. He goes, through your, through my aquamarine. He goes, through the aquamarine. He goes, you can get me out. Remember that was the day before I was doing that video, gonna raise hell, you know, with all the bl blood because I cut my finger, which is still not, that's pretty good. <laughs> still won't heal but that's okay though and if it won't heal because I probably don't let it because I keep squishing as much blood out every day as I can maybe like just like that I like blood okay so he said that this part right here I need to put on top of my head on my he goes on my first chakra and I go what's that my pussy 
And he's like, no. And he goes, this is my first chakra. Wait, first? First, wait, let me see. First, the fifth, sixth, and seventh. The fifth is like the genitals. The sixth is up inside the vagina. And the seventh is up inside the anus. Okay, so that's five and then four would be the stomach and three would be the heart and two would be the throat and one would be here so he would tell me that out of the first chakra by putting this right here on top of my first chakra because you know the reptilians are all perverted and stuff so when he goes put it on top of your first chakra I'm like wait my pussy he's like no and I was surprised he goes and he showed me where the chakras were he like point he showed me and he was really nice even though he was bullshitting me telling me that he was draken that um, still though <clears throat> even after I knew he wasn't Drake and I still give him the crystal and I don't know why but anyhow though he told me that I could get him out I go are there other beings there in hell with you are there more he goes yes there's so many um, now it might be all of the people who have been pushed out of their bodies that the reptilians are ha inhabiting right now the three percent of the world Okay, when the reptilian inhabits the body, the human gets pushed out, gets stored in the talisman, which the talisman, the Luxor, light, light, here in Las Vegas, is the brightest light in the world, and it's the Tesla energy that goes into the sky and the brightest light in the world, you know, and that is a talisman. Did you know that? That's what Drake told me a long time ago, um, that that's a talisman. So, and that's why it's on the dollar bill with the pyramid, with, on the dollar bill with the rays and everything. The rays coming out of it on the dollar bill, that's represents, that's a talisman where the souls, they stra stra trap the souls that they push out of a human body when the reptilians inhabit them. So, okay, I'm thinking, okay, if I do this, if I let these demons out, or let, if I open, if I do what they said, like this, you know, like on top of my head, which I haven't done yet, but I think I'm going to, but it might let all the humans out that are trapped inside there that have been pushed out of their bodies, or it might be, um, I might be able to let all the, the souls that, that are stored in the talismans that have been sacrificed out, or I might just let everybody out of hell, the demons, I'm not sure, maybe everybody, it might be just everybody actually, I bet, because if I don't do it, well, I'm not sure, I don't know. But I say Yo Oh. 